Welcome back everyone and our first video in section 2 and in this section we will start modeling in Caesar software. So this is the icon for the Caesar 2 software 2019 version. So let's open it. This is the main page for Caesar 2 software. You can see here it is uh, divided into home, analysis, output, interfaces, utilities and help you can see now that all of these icons are uh, inactive in gray color because we don't have any model yet only these uh, icons are active because it uh, doesn't need a, a model that it is already identified here you can start a new model or open an existing model if you have one from the analysis tab you can see here this part is for the equipment analysis for uh, surge vessel nozzle, for pump nozzle, for flange uh, leak detection, for expansion joint design, and for steel structure uh, design. Also, this is uh, stress intensity factors for uh, either tease or bend. During our modeling, we'll understand what is the meaning of SIF. Here is the output. Once you finalize the design and once you carry out the, the analysis for it, you will be able here to see the static response, the harmonic response for your uh, model. You will be able to see uh, the report, the output report for your model analysis. Interface here, you can see the connectivity between Caesar 2 and other softwares. You can import and export between Caesar and multiple other softwares. And here's the utilities, it's some miscellaneous such as this is your uh, your license. And of course, here there is calculator, there is material, there is configuration, all of this part. We will go through it while we are modeling, but I don't want to rush too many information in our first video for you now. And of course, this is the help and the guide for the software. So let's go back to our home uh, tab now. Let's start first by this uh, configuration editor before we start our model. You can see here all of this data. Let's go to the database definitions. This is the database that your uh, software is going to use while modeling any uh, any component in your analysis model. For the expansion joint, for example, it is going to be taken from this library. For the spring hanger design, it is going to use the anvil. You have here many other codes or many other manufacturers you can refer to. This is the path for the load cases, for the pipe sizing, for the structural database. Which code are you going to use? AISC, Australian, German, whatever code you are going to use. And this is the unit. You can use which uh, unit are you used to. Let's use this one now. After that, I want you to go to this uh, miscellaneous option. I will show you some uh, useful tip. You can see here this memory allocated. Normally it is given as 32 megabytes. This is the default of the software, but sometimes if you are creating a, a bigger model, the software will start getting uh, heavy and it will be lagging a lot. So it's better to modify this value. I normally give it as 500 megabytes, as long as you have this uh, space already in your PC and you press save. So now it is saved. You can close the configuration editor and you can start your new model. You will start by pressing new. Let's call it Udemy course. And you can give it any path you want to give. Let's go to the desktop, for example, and make a new folder call it Udemy. Press OK. It will double check with you the units that you have selected already for your model. You can just press OK. And it will open for you this new window, which is for the piping input. And now you are ready to start creating your model. And we will show that in our next video. So this is it for our video today. Thank you.